Are there slides that are coming or not? Yes, sir. Okay, it is coming, no? Okay. So, uh, let me start with today's topic. So, in previous classes, I have already explained the uh, basic principles of animal welfare, okay? What is animal welfare? The four principles of animal welfare, that is, one is good housing, good feeding, good health, and appropriate behavior, okay? So, I hope uh, uh, by this time uh, uh, you know what is good housing, okay? Good housing means it is about the good ventilation, okay? Then good bedding material, you need to provide the bedding material to the animal, okay? So that animal will uh, feel the comfort, okay? Then coming to the good feeding, okay? So good feeding aspect, uh, I did not discuss much, okay? So now uh, I shall be discussing about the good feeding part, okay? So, uh, today's class I will discuss about the good feeding, okay, how to do feeding of the animal, okay, the standard guidelines, okay, what are the guidelines, different guidelines, I will be explaining, okay, one by one. So, what is dry matter, any, any idea? Can anyone tell me what is the definition of dry matter? What is dry matter? Sir, uh, dry matter means if we uh, subtract the uh, moisture uh, from a uh, from a specific okay 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 somebody be uh, okay you are, yes yes you are correct okay so let me discuss the terminology dry matter what is dry matter okay so the name already it suggests dry matter means it is the dry okay suppose uh, uh, dry, one is dry matter and the other one is as such basis okay as such means with water okay so you see uh, all the feed, okay, all the feed or the fodder, okay, fodder means maize, fodder, okay, whatever plant, okay, it contains water, okay, in including human beings. So if you exclude the water from the plant, then the remaining part, it is called the dry matter, okay, the dry matter, okay. So you see in the picture also, it, it is showing the dry matter means if you are removing the water, then it is called dry matter, okay. If you are adding the water in the dry feed, then it will be as such, okay, vice versa, okay. So dry matter basis, as such basis, okay. So you see, uh, dry matter is the proportion of the feed that has left after the water has been removed, okay. When, uh, after removing the water, the remaining part portion of the plant is called dry matter, okay. So nutrient are concentrated in the dry matter proportion of feed, okay. And the dry matter varies considerably among feeds from 90% water for pasture, okay, last pasture, and 10% water for cereal, grain, and most hairs, okay. So what it, what it tells, you see, if you consider the different fodder, okay, what are the different fodder which, is, uh, which are used for feeding of the animal? Can you name some uh, fodder species? Which is utilized for okay, barsim, lusan, risan, leguminous fodder, okay. Then maize fodder, sorghum, barley, okay. I hope uh, those who are from the plain areas, means from the northern uh, India, I think uh, they know, Aman Mina, isn't it? Maize fodder, then barley, bajra, you have seen or not? Okay, so this uh, this uh, fodder uh, you can you can uh, uh, feed the grains also to the animals or human purpose, and the leftover plant is uh, used for feeding the animal. Okay, so uh, I will take one example. Suppose in case of maize fodder, okay, maize uh, uh, fodder it contains ninety percent moisture water. Okay, so when you uh, uh, dry the maize fodder means suppose uh, out of 100 kg of maize fodder we get 10 kg of maize fodder uh, in dry matter basis okay because the maize fodder contains 90 percent water okay so this is for the last pasture okay? last edible pasture okay means the green fodder okay and for concentrate concentrate means the fruit, the fruit of the uh, plant okay, food of you can see also as it means suppose uh, maize grain okay or uh, parsley okay different type of parsley then dal 
Voice is breaking. Sorry. Yes, Now it is okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So for uh, different uh, types of grains, okay, like maize, maize crop, or uh, this one pulses, okay, pulses, then dal, it contains only 10% percent water. Okay. So the difference you see in case of the maize fodder, it contains 90% percent water, but the grain, maize grain, it contains only 10% percent water. Okay. So this is the difference. Okay. So all requirement are based on dry matter basis okay so the in all requirement means uh, uh, whatever feed you will provide to the animal it will be calculated on the dry matter basis only okay so later on i will be explaining how to calculate the requirement feed requirement for cattle so uh, let me go to the next slide so this is also uh, telling you the same thing okay so if you so this is the whole plant okay this is the whole plant which uh, contains water as well as dry matter okay so when you remove the water from the plant then you will get the only the dry matter okay only the dry matter so this is the definition of the dry matter after removing the moisture from the plant you will get the dry matter weight okay dry matter basis so this you see the water and dry matter this dry matter again is divided into organic and inorganic uh, uh, portion okay fraction so you see organic portion means a, a carbohydrate lipid protein nucleic acid organic acid vitamins it is coming under the organic and inorganic as you know the minerals okay different minerals also uh, used to be there no it's not it in the plants so this is coming under the inorganic portion okay so this is the brief idea okay so i, I hope all of uh, all of you already knows all these things now coming to the definition of raffes okay so i hope uh, what is raffes Rim gym. Where is rim gym? What is the definition of roughage? Anyone from your group? What is roughage? What is concentrate? So sir, roughage means uh, the food which is rich in fiber. Okay, the food which is rich in fiber. Okay, fiber means uh, it will it will give more energy. Okay, if it high in. Uh, 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 this one uh, more uh, fiber and it is it contains more. Uh, your uh, fiber okay so and the fiber proportion it will be more than 80 percent okay and tdn is less than 60 percent okay means energy is less okay less than 60 percent this is the definition of roughage okay so you remember uh, the definition of roughage means uh, the feed which contains more than 18 percent fiber means fiber content is more and energy content is less okay energy will be less than 60 percent TDN, okay, total digestible nutrient, okay. So you just remember, fiber content will be high and energy will be less, okay. So some examples like your uh, uh, maize fodder, okay, all the fodder, okay. Fodder means all the plant, okay. All the plant it is uh, coming under roughage, okay. So roughage maybe uh, roughage is also again divided into two part. One is green roughage, one is dry roughage. Okay, green roughage means as such. Okay, if you are if you are cutting uh, the um, plant from the field and directly giving to the animal, then it is called green roughage. Okay, when it is green. Okay, so when uh, and dry roughage means after removing the moisture from the green roughage. Okay, that is called dry roughage. Dry roughage examples are anyone. What is? Can you give some examples of dry roughage? Okay, so hay and straw. Okay, straw. I think you have seen now as a, this one. Straw and hay. These are the examples of dry roughage. And green roughage means the fodder. Okay, fodder means maize fodder and all this fodder. When you are feeding as such, then it is called green roughage. And what is the definition of roughage? Uh, when it contains more than 18 percent fiber and less than 60 percent energy okay remember so these are the examples of roughage you see the, the cattle are uh, feeding this green green fodder this is called green roughage okay and uh, whenever uh, the water is uh, removed from the green roughage then it is called dry roughage okay then what is the purpose of dry roughage dry roughage you can preserve for Uh, future use okay like uh, when whenever uh, during the winter season okay when the green fodder availability is less or during the drought okay drought or flood okay in that time dry roughage can be used for animal feeding okay so that's why dry roughage also very very important okay for uh, uh, preserving 
for uh, future use okay so these are the examples of green rafes alpha alpha clover soybean wood corn silage okay these are the examples of dry uh, green rafes okay and the definition is high fiber and relatively low in digestible nutrient the low in digestible nutrient means the energy will be energy will be low okay as compared to the concentrate now what is concentrate so concentrate is nothing but the fruit okay fruit or seeds of the plant okay so if you are using the fruit portion or the seed or pulses uh, of the any plant for uh, this one uh, uh, feeding of the animal then it is called concentrate okay so concentrate it contains less fiber low in fiber and high energy okay it is giving instant energy to the animals okay so the difference between raffes and concentrate you please remember the raffes means uh, high in fiber okay fiber content will be more energy is less the concentrate is opposite okay fiber is less energy is more okay so raffes and concentrate ah, and raffes is again divided into dry and green and concentrate is divided into based on their nutrient uh, content that uh, i will not be explaining now but you try to remember the examples of the concentrate okay this all the pulses and the fruit okay fruit and seed of the plant okay if you are using for animal feeding then it is called concentrate now you see uh, whenever uh, uh, yeah, we want to feed the cow uh, this one rapids and concentrate certain ratio we need to maintain okay we need to, we have to maintain certain ratio okay it is not like this uh, uh, we will feed uh, the whole rafes to the animal or we will give whole concentrate to the animal okay then the animal will immediately suffer from diseases okay that means we need to balance the amount of rafes and concentrate okay please keep in mind okay we need to balance okay rafes also concentrate also okay rafes uh, the purpose uh, i will tell you uh, uh, explaining you later on but you for timing you remember rafes also it is required for the uh, uh, good microbial environment okay of the ruminant species okay they need grasses okay they need grasses as well as they need concentrate concentrate what is the purpose it will give instant energy okay as it contains more energy so we need to balance both rafes and concentrate now you see the um, average dry matter requirement of indigenous means desi cow means indigenous okay indigenous cow is 2 to 2.5 kg per 100 kg body weight okay you please remember okay this question is very very important and throughout your bbsc you have to remember okay means uh, after getting degree also you, you need to remember okay these are the some mantras okay of the veterinary course okay so the average dry matter requirement of uh, indigenous or desi cow is 2 to 2.5 kg per 100 kg body weight okay don't get confused 2 to 2.5 kg per 100 kg not per kg body weight per 100 kg live body weight okay and for crossbred and buffaloes it is little bit higher okay 2.5 to 3 kg per 100 kg body weight okay so you please remember one is 2 to 2.5 the other one is 2.5 to 3 kg per 100 kg body weight ha huh. then this is the total requirement okay total requirement of the feed in dry matter basis okay so out of this total feed again it will be divided into rafes and concentrate so this rafes requirement is two third okay and one third is concentrate so i will give you the uh, column you see this column so this is the total dry matter requirement okay so this is the total dry matter requirement out of this total dry matter requirement two third will uh, should be from the rafes and one third should be from the concentrate okay then again this uh, out of this two third this dry rafes again it is two third okay out of the total rafes now out of the total rafes dry rafes is two third and green rafes is one third so now somebody can you explain the this uh, chart how you will feed the animal yes sir okay you please continue yes, sir uh, i feed the animal by giving Uh, the animal uh, two uh, two third rafages of total dry matter and one third okay. concentrate of total dry matter okay. out of the rafages mm -hmm. two third will be dry rafages and one third will be green rafages 
Okay. Now uh, let us uh, discuss with one example. Okay. Suppose uh, if the body weight of the animal is 500 kg and that the animal is uh, body weight of the animal is 500 kg equals to in buffalo. B U F F L O B S of the cross breed cattle. So you see. Uh, this is the example, okay, weak example. Now you see the body weight of the animal is 500 kg, okay. So then what will be the total requirement of feed if it is buffalo or crossbreed? Up to 5.5 to 3. Yes, you see the dry matter requirement for i have already explained no the in this slide the dry matter total dry matter requirement it is 2 to 2.5 kg per 100 kg for indigenous cattle okay if it is gear saiwal okay tharparkar okay for indigenous cattle it is 2 to 2.5 and for crossbreed and buffalo it is 2.5 to 3 now coming to this point you see uh, in this one, uh, we are taking the example of buffalo. Okay, buffalo, the body weight is 500 kg. That means 2.5 kg per 100 kg. Okay, then if the body weight is 500 kg, that means 2.5 into 5. Okay, so the total dry matter requirement is 12.5 kg. Okay, this is the total dry matter requirement. Now, out of this 12.5 kg, again, this 12.5 kg will divide into two portions. Okay, one is Roughest and the other one is concentrate. Okay, so you see out of 2.5 kg, two third. Okay, two third it will be around round figure. Okay, now we are taking the round figure. Okay, so out of two third, uh, two third of uh, 12.5 means it will be 8 kg. Okay, and concentrate it will be 2.5 kg or you just take we will assume it 12 kg. Okay, 12 or 12 kg. Otherwise, you will get confused. 12 kg. Now you see. Uh, the total dry matter requirement is 12 kg. Out of 12 kg, roughage is two third of the 12 kg, and concentrate is one third of the 12 kg. So two third of the 12 kg it is 8 kg, and one third of the 12 kg it is 4 kg. Okay. So you please, uh, if uh, uh, you are having pen uh, or something, you note it down. Okay. So this the uh, roughage requirement is 8 kg, and concentrate is 4 kg. That means okay. So you need to offer. 4 kg of concentrate to the buffaloes, okay, having 500 kg body weight and 8 kg of roughage, okay. But again, this roughage is again divided into dry roughage and green roughage, okay. So, out of this 8 kg, now it is out of this 8 kg, okay, don't get confused. Out of this 8 kg, two third should be from the dry roughage and one third should be from the green roughage, okay. So, one, uh, two third means out of 8 kg, it will be 5 kg. So, 5 kg dry roughage and 3 kg green roughage. Okay. Is it okay? Somebody? Yes, sir. It is okay, no? So, the final yes, requirement is, the final requirement is 5 kg 5 kg dry roughage dry means dry roughage, okay? This is the final requirement, no? Somebody? Plus 3 kg Green roughage plus four is it concentrate? Is it is it clear now? How to how to how to give the feed to the animal and how to calculate the feed? Somebody, sir, Mister, yes, is it? Is it okay, the calculation? Yes. How we have done? Is it okay, yes, sir? Uh, sir, mister, can you explain uh, this one? This slide, how you will, how will uh, uh, formulate the ration for the, for the uh, animal, for the lactating animal? Uh, sir, could you please explain the total dry matter required, sir? So for the buffalo, sir. For okay, total dry matter requirement. Okay. So in the previous slide, I have already explained. You see, for if if for uh, indigenous cattle, the total dry matter requirement is two to two point five per hundred kg body weight. Okay. And if it is a buffalo or crossbred cattle, crossbred animal, then it is two point five to little bit higher. Okay, two point five to three kg per hundred kg body weight. 
Now here uh, we have cons uh, we have considered 2.5. Okay, you can consider it three kg also. Okay, it is up to you. But the range is 2.5 to 3. Okay, so you see for buffalo we have considered it 2.5 kg per 100 kg body weight. Then if the body weight is 500, that means 2.5 into 5, it will be 12.5. Okay, so we have rounded the 12.5. We are considering 12 kg. So out of 12 kg, it is again divided into roughage and concentrate. Okay, two third is roughage and one third is concentrate. So two third means 8 kg. And concentrate one third means four kg. Yeah. Then again, this rough phase again divided into dry rough phase and green rough phase. So now, out of eight kg rough phase, you need to give two third dry rough phase. That means five kg dry rough phase and one third green rough phase. That is three kg. Okay. Green rough phase. So the final feed requirement it is like this. Okay. So final feed requirement. So this is the final feed. What you will provide to the expert is. 5 kg dry rafes, 3 kg green rafes, and 4 kg concentrate. Is it okay, so, uh, Sir Mister? Now? Yes, sir. Okay. So, if it is okay, then. Okay. Now, can you, can you do it for this one? Compute the balance ration for buffalo weighing 400 kg body weight. Now, very easy. Asking some question, okay. Compute a balance ration for a buffalo weighing 400 kg body weight. You do it now. Ration means the total concentrate, then dry reference and green reference. Can you do it? This one. Somebody? Yes, sir. Can you do it? This one, the calculation. Yes, sir. Okay. You please uh, tell me the answer. How much will be the requirement of concentrate, then green reference and dry reference? Sir, 10 kg dry matter. 10 kg dry matter. Very good. Then? Reference 6.6 .6 kg. Reference 6.6 .6 kg. Very good. Uh, or sir, concentrate 3.3 kg. Okay, 3.3 kg. Okay. Then what and about sir, dry roughage and green roughage? Sir, dry roughage 41.9 kg and uh, green roughage 20 by 9 kg. Okay, very good. Very good, Nisan. Okay. So, uh, all of you uh, have done or not? The calculation. It is very easy. Okay, simple. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if it is if it is done, then I will go to the next stage. Okay, next stage means you see this green reference requirement. This green reference requirement. I am requesting everyone to unmute yourself. Some uh, sound is coming. Okay, so this green reference it is in dry matter basis. Okay, so you see all the calculation means this. Uh, uh, 5 kg uh, dry roughage, 3 kg green roughage, 4 kg concentrate, all are in dry matter basis. Okay. But this green roughage, we cannot provide on dry matter basis. Okay. So it will be a such basis. So we need to, now we need to convert this green roughage on dry matter to fresh basis because uh, uh, we will offer the green roughage as such. Okay. With water. Isn't that it? We will not uh, provide the green fodder uh, after removing the water. So with water only we will provide. No. So that's why that required the, the total required green fodder needs to be converted into fresh basis. Okay, as such basis. So we need to uh, add the water. Okay. So like uh, this, you see uh, the formula is like this. Okay, how to convert the green rough waste to as such basis. Okay. So we are assuming the green fodder will contain 90% moisture, okay? So, 90% moisture means 10 kg dry matter is supplied by 100 kg of 
means okay on dry matter this we will get 10 kg dry matter from the 100 kg of maize now 3 kg that means 3 kg will be supplied by 3 uh, into 100 into 3 divided by 10 okay that means 30 kg of green fodder we need to provide to the animal okay that means we need to provide 30 kg of the green fodder to the animal is it okay if there is any so this will be now this is the final okay 30 kg green rafe okay green rafe means it is such this is now it is okay any queries so and why this conversion has been made if you have any query you can ask me now why it is again converted into s such basis hmm rahul sir 10 kg dm is supplied by 100 kg maize sir yes sir this one i didn't understand you see we we have uh, uh, we have assumed uh, green fodder we is contain 90% moisture okay 90% moisture means uh, 90% water okay water or moisture or water That means out of 100 kg of fodder, you will get 10 kg dry matter, isn't it? Because 90% is moisture, means water. So water will be uh, evaporated. Then only the remaining portion means dry matter will remain. Is it clear? 10 kg dry matter okay. is supplied by 100 kg of maize. Uh, okay. That means 3 kg will be supplied by 100 into 3. by 10 okay so this is the formula how to convert the dry matter to s such basis okay so this final requirement you see uh, of 500 kg body weight buffalo it is 5 kg dry matter 30 kg green fodder s such basis and 4 kg concentrate this is the final result okay so this result you can tell to some farmer to uh, practice in his or her farm okay Don't tell three kg green fodder. Okay, three kg green fodder. Then farmer will think over it. Okay, three kg green fodder. So this much only. But cattle is very big size. Okay, so that means we need to uh, convert this dry matter basis to S such basis for green fodder. Okay, is it okay now, sir, Mister? Yes, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. If there is any confusion, you are free to. Ask okay. You you feel free to ask okay. If you have any doubt, uh, no sir. Whether you have seen or not, the it is fine. Okay. So anyone having any doubt? He say. He say. Yes, yes sir. No sir. How are you? Sir, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Sir, I'm fine. Fine. Yes, sir. Oh, these days you are uh, you are becoming a little bit inactive or what? You are not uh, communicating. No, huh? sir. Is it? No, sir. I have checked your uh, first assessment. Okay. So how much you uh, ex expect? How much uh, you will be able to score in first assessment? Out of forty. Sir, I don't know. Is it? Sir, I don't know. Sir. No, guess, guess. Uh, I'm asking you to guess how much you are expecting to get. Okay. Anyway, so whether this calculation is uh, okay, is it? Yes, sir. Okay. It is. It is fine. No. So this is very very important. Okay. You please. Uh, 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 you please try to uh, remember, okay, this calculation, okay, throughout your BBC as well as as a veterinary doctor, you should know this calculation, okay. These are the very simple thing, but the farmer will uh, ask you again and again, okay. So this is very important uh, as a management aspect, okay. So this is about the good feeding, okay. So why and how to balance the feed and why to balance the feed? If anyone having any doubt. that doubt i can uh, explain in uh, in future okay but not now okay why 
dry rapage is required, why green rapage is required, why we need to provide concentrate also, then why we need to balance the feed. Okay, balance means we need to provide green rapage also, dry rapage also, concentrate also, okay, to get more amount of, high amount of milk, okay. So our output is only milk, okay. So we want more milk, so for getting more milk, dry rapage, green rapage, as well as concentrate, okay. So the total dry matter requirement, it is calculated on the basis of this 2 to 2.5 kg per 100 kg for indigenous cattle and for crossbred or buffalo, means they are bigger in size, isn't it? From comparing to the indigenous cattle. So for them, it is 2.5 to 3 kg per 100 kg, okay. Don't get confused, per 100 kg. So total dry matter requirement, it will be calculated on this calculation basis. Then again, it will be divided into roughage and concentrate. Okay. Then again, roughage will again divided into dry and green. Okay. Then after calculating the green roughage on dry matter basis, you need to convert it into as such basis. Okay. As such basis, how conversion is done on the, this formula. Okay. So by this formula, you can convert the green roughage to as such green roughage. Okay. So what is zero grazing? Any idea what is the definition of zero grazing? Zero grazing. Sir, all Sapna. the food is provided. Huh? Sir, stall feeding. Stall feeding, very good, very good, Sapna. So stall feeding, scientific term is zero grazing, okay? Zero grazing means means try to uh, try to correlate with the terminology also okay whenever some definition is coming in the exam you try to think over it okay zero grazing okay that means the animal are not allowed to graze okay that means they are under stall feeding okay so that is called zero grazing okay zero grazing means stall feeding what is carrying capacity carrying capacity c a double r i n g carrying capacity any idea so, sir, uh, maximum amount of uh, land uh, or food is yes, Samadhi, you are you are you are you are touching the uh, point. Okay, carrying capacity. Okay, what is carrying capacity? So I will give you a small, uh, small example. Okay, suppose in your classroom, uh, the maximum capacity is for eighty students. Okay, so we cannot keep uh, or we cannot adjust with 100 number of student okay that is carrying capacity okay suppose one acre land is for keeping three number of lactating cattle okay three number only three one acre okay so this is the carrying capacity of one acre land okay in terms of livestock okay but carrying capacity for this one for, for this one agriculture like maize cultivation paddy cultivation okay all this it is different okay for maize and all or for other agriculture purpose, they can put more number of seed in a particular piece of land, isn't it? But for when it comes to livestock, then it is only three, okay? So we, you can you can rear three number of cattle in a one acre of land, okay? Okay, is it okay? What is carrying capacity? Yes, Sorry, is it okay? Okay, sir, mister, is it okay? Yes, okay, so so please, uh, uh, this one, uh, your uh, project formulation, you please try to do little, little bit, okay? At the same time, okay? So if the, there is a problem, you can call me also. Already, Siba, Siba already submitted, okay? So uh, he has submitted, but uh, that is only half correct, okay? Half portion is incorrect, okay? So... That one, today I will give you some, uh, this one, uh, of uh, some copies of your CV. Uh, today I will provide some uh, project uh, uh, submitted by your seniors, okay? Seniors means second year seniors, okay? So you just uh, go through that one also and according to that you try to learn, okay? And if you are having problem, any doubt, then you contact me, okay? Either through WhatsApp or you can call me also, okay? But you learn it very carefully okay because these things are very very important okay project formulation then fit calculation okay these are practical practically important okay 
So whenever you are studying uh, veterinary or this one, uh, so you should know all these things. Okay, is it okay, sir, Mr. Oh uh, yes, sir. I had one question, sir. Please, sir, Mr. Yes, sir. Sir, the, do we have to also uh, include the cash flow analysis, sir, like the cost, capital cost? No, cash, no, 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 no. Cash flow analysis means uh, for repayment. Okay, repayment part no need to do. Okay, bank repayment all no need to do. But uh, the profit per email per month. Okay, you need to calculate. Okay, up to that point. Okay, the cash flow analysis means bank, bank repayment on all no need. Okay. Okay, so that means benefits is also not required. No, no, no. This all benefits is I, I, I have not discussed. Nah. So whatever I have discussed, uh, uh, so up to that only uh, you need to do. Okay. So that portion uh, we can explain in future. But uh, for time being, you just try. Uh, uh, you try to do up to that point only. Okay. The net benefit okay. per animal per month. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay, then uh, should I stop here? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.